It looks like we're going to be adding some chickens to the flock here on the homestead. Uh, my wife found a couple of frou-frou breeds of chickens that she just had to have. So I went and picked those up. Just got back. So let's take a look at them. These three little ones are, what were they? These were silkies. So we've got a couple of white silkies and a black silky. Gotta be careful, I got kitty kitty snooping around. But these are, I think she said about six or seven days old. Let's see if one will let me hold it. Yeah, there you are. And we've got the brooder box set back up and ready for these. They grow up to be pretty birds. I'll post some pictures of what they're supposed to look like when they grow up. But I'm gonna get them put in their box real quick and then put under their heat. Here we go, your new home for the next little bit. Some nice clean water. The food, I'm gonna have to see how they do with this. I thought I got, I thought I picked up a bag of crumbles not as crumbly as I thought they were gonna as I expected them to be anyway so I'll watch them and see how they do with it and if they're not uh, able to eat it very well I'll just crumble it some more for them you ready to come out of there little chickies who's first you're first huh wants to go next. Last one. Here we are. We don't have any names yet, but as soon as mommy gets home, I'm sure she'll take care of that. All of this space just for you three, huh? Okay, I'm gonna let them explore their new world. We're gonna go take care of their, we've got some more chickens to look at. These birds are a little bit older. They are some sort of frizzle. I'll have to check with my wife on uh, exactly what they are. Hey there. But these are frizzles and one of them, this one. Hey, what you doing trying to peck at me? Hey, now, you're mean, aren't you? This one, you see that? That is a naked neck frizzle. I don't know if they're male or female. I don't know what we got going on here. Time will tell, I suppose. Are all y'all as mean as that naked neck? Hey, stay back. You're a you're a bunghole. Look at you! Every time! Quit it! What in the world? You're gonna be a mean one. But these birds are, I think she said six or seven weeks old. She said they are ready to go to an outside coop, so... We're gonna introduce them, hey now, we're gonna try and introduce them to our current flock and see how that goes. I was kinda worried about them. I was afraid our current flock would be kinda mean to these birds, but golly, they've got a little protector there. They may be all right. <laughs> Let me pick one, no, would you quit it? Look at their feathered feet. 
sweet hairdo. Ah, well, look at you! You are mean! What's this? What? Like, as soon as it sees my hand. Okay, it's time to make the big introduction. I just put down some new leaves in the chicken coop. They've gotten big. These chickens are chicken. I've got them all huddled there. They're a little frazzled because I just finished spreading the, uh, the leaves around. A little worried about letting these little ones go. Kiddos, are y'all ready to see what happens here? Sure. Yeah. No, all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open the box here. And we're gonna turn it, whoops. We're gonna turn it like this. And let them find their way out. And then see how the interaction goes. Naked neck meanie right there. Back, y'all. They've got, they're gonna be a little bit leery about coming out because it's all new to them. There they go. Be still, Bubby. check on. We gotta make sure that if we leave them that the big chickens aren't gonna hurt the little chickens. Now they're probably going to um, kind of peck on them a little bit just to let them know who's boss. That they've been here first. But as long as they don't get too mean. Oh, we're about to make first contact. What if one of the other chickens? There's not any aggression. What if oh. the um one of the <laughs> They are showing zero aggression at all so far. That is you know I mean? good. Good news. far more interested in finding cool stuff in the leaves. You're gonna have to do some training. Because these little ones are pretty, uh, pretty food dependent.
Well, we've been out here for about 10 or 15 minutes watching, and so far the big chickens, the, the sex-linked birds, have shown zero aggression and very little interest in the new uh, arrivals. So I think everything's going to be okay. We're going to check back sporadically throughout the rest of the day, and then we'll come back in the morning and see how things are going, and I'll give you an update. Okay, well, after the kids left and some of the commotion level went down in the chicken coop, the, uh, all the birds began to kind of mix a little more. And I began to see a little bit of uh, vying for dominance. Actually, not vying for dominance. The, the bigger chickens were exerting their dominance over the smaller ones. But still, it was just a little bit of pecking around, some, uh, some feather pulling, a little bit of chasing. But I, I don't think it's anything that I need to be too concerned about. I'll continue to come on back out and, and check on them as the day progresses. And then on into tomorrow. And uh, we'll keep you updated as to how it goes. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give us that thumbs up and subscribe. Leave us some comments. And if you'd be interested in following along as we continue to try and turn our home into a homestead, then be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily sustainable living.